Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. trying to um, read about you a little bit. <laughs> well, thank you so very much. I've, I know everything about you because uh -huh. I am broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas on a global platform, but you know everybody knows the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, ladies. Uh -huh. Hi, Valder. Hi, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. It must be football time, is it? Would you believe it's actually, it's time. In fact, today, tonight, the Dallas Cowboys play the um, play San Diego. So uh, I know I've lost my husband for tonight. No. I, I got the schedule. There I you know go. what it is. I want to thank you guys for being here. Got a couple of Facebook questions for you. Want to let my audience know I get to talk to Kelly. And you guys get to tell me what's going on with the Dallas Cowboys and how my audience can be a part of this. Oh, and I forgot to say Judy, too. I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay. Okay, so the biggest thing I got from you guys yesterday is people want to know how can they be a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader? Well, you know what? Uh, we have auditions every year in Dallas in May, and we promote those auditions on our website, DallasCowboys.com. And um, they can go up now and see the dates for next spring, but um, you got to have a, you know some confidence and, of course, dance experience and be attractive and uh, be able to fit in our uniform and come see us in May to try out. We had this year, we had ladies from 37 states. We also had representatives from Australia, Mexico, and Japan try out. All right. I want to let everyone know that Kelly is the head choreographer and Judy is helping us look for, uh, no, Kelly, I'm sorry. Okay. Kelly is the director and Judy is the head choreographer. Is that right? I can't remember. Yes, that's correct. All right then. So, okay, so they can try out for next year. So what are we going to see this year? Every year, don't you have to come back with something to keep the, you know, keep our attention? Yes, in fact, um, tonight's episode, which, which airs at 11 Eastern, 10 Central, tonight's episode features the solos and the most competitive part of our audition. So it's a really exciting night to watch. You'll see that we have some really super talented dancers that are auditioning this year. And then sometimes we have some people that have great personalities and great looks and uh, make it into our training camp. And we, we try to train them a little bit more on the choreography side. Okay, so is this a battle to be, do you have to battle to be on the team? Is it one of those things? Or is it like, I guess, I, I've never been a part of it. It's Miss America. You just come in looking good, do your little thing, and you guys choose. Or is it, it a battle? No, it's, it, they're not battling against each other. They're competing for themselves. They just have to come in with a great look, a great figure that would go in our uniform and be able to dance or either be coachable. Okay, I've got a Facebook question. I promise you I have some Facebook question. One says, um, will they have the same uniforms this year that they've always had, or will you update them? Ooh, good question. We actually will be in our traditional uniform. The uniform that the ladies wear now was designed in 1972, and we've made some slight modifications. We've kind of blinged it up with crystals and um, added a beautiful new kind of Texas-style belt buckle. But outside of that, our uniform has really proven to be time-tested. It's um, 
recognized worldwide, and it's still, I think, very, very flattering to the female figure. Um, our workout apparel does change every season. It's made by a partner of ours, Rebel Athletic, and that changes each season um, in terms of what they rehearse in. But our game day uniform is the same game day uniform. Okay, you guys, uh, well, my next Facebook question is, who was a former Dallas Cowboy cheerleader, one of you or both of you? Both of us. I cheered from 80 to 84. And, and I cheered from 84 through 89. Yeah, so Judy I and I both cheered in the 80s. Tom Landry was our head coach. And we were just shy of some of those championship years because, sure enough, as soon as we retired our boots and palms, the Cowboys started winning Super Bowls in the 90s. <laughs> okay, and my final Facebook question is, uh, reality shows are vicious. Oh, are viciousness on yours? <laughs> I'm sorry, could you repeat that, Valder? I'm, that's okay. Uh, it says reality shows are vicious. Uh, will we see that with the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders? Um, you know, our show does, it is a competition. People are competi competing for a high-stakes job. But I honestly believe that at the end of the day, our show reveals more camaraderie as as opposed to viciousness. The, the girls are kind of struggling through our audition process together, which actually kind of brings them close. So, so no, I would not say vicious. All right, then. So this is the 10th anniversary season of this reality show. I want to thank you guys so much. When, you guys, when and where do you guys want us to watch? CMT um, on Thursday nights, 11 Eastern, 10 Central. And, of course, you want us to watch the game tonight, right? Yeah, so tonight's tricky. You've got an hour to watch the Cowboys game and then flip over to CMT and watch a little bit of that, and then you can head back to the Cowboys game. All right, thank you, guys. You guys are the most beautiful women on TV, so thank you for gracing the Valder BB Show here live in Dallas, Texas. It's been my pleasure. Thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you.